Hi guys, welcome to another video. Yeah, so we're on the Northumberland coast once again, and today we're actually in Bamba. So as you can see, an amazing castle behind me called Bamba Castle. And this beach, take a look at this beach. It is absolutely stunning. The sea is just like being abroad. It's blue. The sea is actually blue and clear. So look at the people on the beach as well. It's just like being abroad. It's absolutely amazing here. I actually can't believe this place. So I've never, ever been here before in my life. And I just can't believe it. But we do have a, a few situations. I'm going to have to say it. Um, so this has actually been voted the best seaside resort on the Witch magazine. Well, it, obviously it is the best place you can actually come. So you can't compare this to a traditional seaside resort where you get sticks of rock, candy floss, fishing chips, loads of amusement rides, loads of donkey rides and everything else is there. What well, are really busy. This is a small seaside resort which has just come for the history and the relaxation of a beautiful place. Yeah, so don't forget, if you like what you see before we go, if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for all my new videos coming up. So on the Northumberland coast we are, and there's going to be loads of videos all about Northumberland, all the way up to St Abs in Scotland as well. Yeah, so give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So let's go for that little adventure. Yeah, so this is the uh, potted lobster. So yeah, they're doing a Happy Father's Day menu as well. So uh, I suppose that'll be busy a little bit later on, but yeah, the sun's out. What a beautiful day it is uh, to visit Bamba. So we're going to uh, actually take you down towards where the castle is. But, yeah, driving through, we saw the castle from the distance and it's massive. So yeah, check out the hotels as well, it's across the way. Uh, there's actually a butcher's there, bakers, sausage roll makers. So, hey, and it's Father's Day, check out the number plate, Dad. Brilliant. Yeah, as you can see the uh, castle over there. Right, so in Bamba itself, we've got this uh, Grace Darling Museum. And uh, you know what I'm like telling things about history and that. So Abby's going to tell you a little about Grace Darling, if you don't know about it. Born in 1815, Grace heroically helped to rescue survivors from the Forfarshire, a vessel travelling from Hull to Dundee, which was wrecked on the Farne Islands off the coast of Northumberland. So there you go. So there's actually a museum uh, all about Grace Darling. So I'll just show you that. So yeah, if you're visiting Bamber, uh, Get yourself down here just as you come in to Bamber itself it's actually uh, straight at the uh, beginning of Bamber. It's believed that Grace heard screams and wild cries saw the wreck with the angry waters all around it and noticed the men clinging to the masts so she went out in her boat to rescue them. There you go so that's the history, history of Grace Darling. Yes yeah, so we're actually uh, coming to the uh, museum see all about uh, Grace Darling. So it's actually free to get in. Yeah, so you can actually go upstairs. 
Uh, so it looks like someone who's actually done a painting of uh, Grace Darling, yeah, yeah with our William and Grace Darling in the heavy seas rowing to the wreck. Beautiful. Telling all about Grace Darling, and uh, I don't know if this is actually an original boat that she actually did the rescue in. This place is uh, all about Grace Darling. So she actually died in 1842, uh, uh, age 27. And there's a tombstone there, which I think is across the road. So that's where Grace Darling was actually born. That little cottage there. Yeah, so this is where Grace Darling is actually buried so yeah born 1815 died October the 20th 1842 age 26 so I'll just show you a little bit about uh, Grace Darling what she actually did so if you want to pause it you can actually read uh, all about Grace Darling. Yeah, so check out the beautiful cricket field. So imagine playing cricket on this cricket field with that castle right at the side of you absolutely stunning I, I'm really shocked on how big this castle actually is when you see it on the photos and other videos it doesn't look that big so up close it's, it's amazing absolutely amazing so they're actually even playing a bit of croquet over there as well Right, so this is the way down to the beach. Yeah, so this is the footpath on the other side of the uh, castle that actually takes you to the beach. And this beach looks absolutely beautiful. So you have this stunning views that surround here. So you've got all the sand dunes as well. Wow, check out this beach and look at the colour of that sea, absolutely stunning. And the sailing boat right out there, I don't know if you can just see it. Right, so you can see opposite there, there's right opposite the castle, there's actually a, a big car park. Uh, I think you do have to pay 
so that's right in front of the castle and uh, what an amazing place this is i can't believe it i'm so shocked but yeah you can't compare this to all the seaside resorts uh, you know across the country like blackpool and skegness and great yarmouth and all that no way uh, it's not the same sort of thing so yeah the witch magazine you need to be having one for all the proper seaside resorts where there's everything to do and another one for places like this so there's no comparison yeah so you need to be putting them in places of outstanding natural beauty just like this place and also culture and history as well there's a lot of history here so yeah loads of places to eat as well so they look like they're having a good, some good food in there so breakfast served every day as well but yeah it looks nearly really nice in there let's take a look at the menu so this is the sunday and there's actually a lot of people uh, about today seems it's, it's a beautiful day we've got another little cafe there as well you can sit outside and have loads to eat you see with the signpost over there so it's only eight five miles to the a1 so yeah not too far away from everywhere just a bit further down so we've got the copper kettle famous seafood platter i've seen on tv crikey so if you've seen that on tv let me know in the comments below so yeah i think we've picked the the right day today or the right weekend to come down to uh, northumberland and down to uh, scotland because this weather is absolutely stunning and that beach down there the sand is absolutely beautiful and this is somewhere else look you can have something to eat it's called doctor's lane and they've even got an old-fashioned uh, telephone box <laughs> can remember those when you we was younger well, they've actually took the telephone out <laughs> yeah spend a lot of time in there yeah so it's like a really small town as Abby's just said to me it's like a little hamlet it's a bit of a posh word for me isn't it rather smaller than a village smaller than a village yeah so we have got a pub here as well with a beer garden at the back and that looks really nice down there as well so yeah this is the in well, even the butchers is open today on a Sunday oh check out those bamba bangers and then we've got the uh, Victoria Hotel bamba so yeah that looks really nice in there so everybody sat outside having some food oh, and the food looks good as well they're even doing sunday dinners as well here so i bet there's a lot of fathers here on father's day and so we've got the lobster the potted lobster as well so all your seafoods in there and it's a michelin style restaurant up to 2021 i'll just show you the uh, the food that's here to offer yes yeah, so we can have lobster with a fries mixed side 36 pound yeah check that out right so there you go everybody i hope you've enjoyed that beautiful walk around bamba what an amazing place it is so the castle amazing the beach amazing the sea is blue and you can sort of see it out here how blue and clear it is It'd be brilliant out there for snorkeling. I know we've done some snorkeling in St Abs, but I think we ought to come here one day and actually do a bit of snorkeling here. As you can see, the light ice over the way, and also you can see sea houses just a bit further around the coast. So we're going to actually visit there. So to check out that video in Sea Houses, uh, that's where we'll be doing one uh, next as well. So we're working our way down the coast. Also, all the other stuff the way I've done in Northumberland as well 
and I've done a little bit in Scotland. So we started at St Abs and worked our way down. Also did a food review and a hotel review as well. So check that out as well, somewhere to stay. So yeah, before we go, if you haven't already and you are, you are enjoying everything that I'm actually doing, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you will see all my new videos that's coming along. And don't forget, don't, <laughs> don't forget to give me that thumbs up as well if you like the videos because there'll be more and more videos like this coming along i want to keep doing all this stuff i hope everybody's enjoying it and if anybody's got any ideas or anybody wants me to visit anywhere please let me know in the comments below or send me an email so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all soon see you soon